Sasha and Armin are still on the ground and, while searching for cover, find Lil clinging to Fukushi's body. Suda arrives, and Lil begs him to treat Fukushi, but Suda tells her he's dead and takes her away instead. Hans notices one of the trucks with explosives being stolen by the masked person and immediately orders the scouts to pursue. Lil manages to land on top of the vehicle and lights the explosives. She enters the driver's cab and tries to take control of the wheel, but the thief fights her for it. After a fierce struggle, Lil kicks the thief out of the vehicle and drives it toward the Titans to exact her revenge. The truck crashes into the Titans, and the explosives go off, killing a bunch of Titans and Lil as well. Now, without any explosives left, Aaron stands on a nearby rooftop, watching in frustration as the remaining Titans continue devouring the soldiers. Jean is hiding on the same roof and mutters that this is hell and they should run. However, Aaron recalls Shikishima's words and angrily tells Jean he refuses to live like cattle forever. He jumps away using his ODMG to fight the Titans. Shikishima, standing on another building, tries to guide Aaron, urging him to fly toward the Titans without fear. Unfortunately, Aaron's determination isn't enough as he still lacks experience. Though he manages to kill one Titan, his blades break, and he accidentally flies into another Titan's mouth, where a single bite takes off his leg before the Titan spits him out. Seeing Aaron's failure, Shikishima leaves. On the ground, the team notices that the Titans are gathering around the building where Jean had been hiding. But Armin gets an idea to help him. The scouts begin firing flares and making noise with various objects to draw the Titans' attention. When one Titan comes after them, Sasha blinds it by shooting arrows into its eyes while Sanagi cripples it by attacking its legs. This distraction allows Jean to finally jump off and use his ODMG to land the final strike on the Titan's neck. Meanwhile, Mikasa continues fighting the Titans and finds Eren's unconscious body but leaves him behind, prioritizing the battle. Back with the team, everyone starts running away, but Armin freezes when Jean tells him Eren is dead. This hesitation allows a Titan to sneak up behind him and grab him. At that moment, Eren regains consciousness and sees Armin about to be eaten. Sasha tries to make the Titan drop Armin by shooting arrows at it, but they barely tickle the beast. Sanagi and Jean also attempt to attack, but their efforts are futile. As the Titan puts Armin in its mouth, Eren struggles to his feet and, using one leg, leaps onto the Titan's lips to save his friend. He pulls with all his strength, managing to free Armin from the Titan's throat and toss him to safety just before the Titan closes its mouth, costing Eren his arm. Falling down the Titan's throat, Eren lands in its stomach and discovers Hiena's body, causing him to break down completely. Meanwhile, the scouts gather on top of the same building, and Hans informs them that Kubel has left with his inner circle, likely using them as bait. Mikasa arrives, and Armin gives her Eren's arm while explaining what happened. The news deeply hurts Mikasa, but she bottles up her pain and returns to the fight, determined to clear a path for the others to escape. With everyone focused on Mikasa, no one notices steam beginning to rise from Eren's severed arm. Mikasa quickly kills a series of titans, but soon runs out of gas for her ODMG and falls to the ground near the titan that ate Eren. As she recalls her childhood memories, she readies herself for a final stand. But just then, the titan contorts in pain, and two massive hands tear it apart from the inside. Emerging from the titan's mouth is a mysterious new titan with bright red eyes. It roars fiercely before launching an attack on the surrounding titans, regenerating its limbs at incredible speed. More titans approach, but the mysterious titan dispatches them with ease, taking them down in a single blow. Sanagi wonders if this new titan is on their side, and Hans points out that its advanced fighting style indicates intelligence. Mikasa and Suda recognize the fighting style and realize that the mysterious titan is Eren. Seeing this powerful titan, the remaining titans retreat. The mysterious titan charges toward the building where the team is gathered, smashing part of the roof. While the others run back, Mikasa remains and lets the Titan pick her up. As it gazes at her, it begins to expel steam and drops Mikasa back on the roof before collapsing to the ground. The team rushes to the fallen Titan, and Hans reminds them that it will soon evaporate. Suda worries that Eren may have been assimilated, and asks someone to cut into the Titan's neck, but not too deeply. Mikasa follows his instructions, and to everyone's shock, Eren emerges from the wound, in pain but alive and with all his limbs intact. Hans wonders if this is why a titan's weak spot is its neck. Eren suddenly opens his eyes, revealing that they're still glowing red. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to watch more of these videos.